This is a podcast from the Angel News Network with author Joel Anastasi interviewing Ascended Master St. Germain as channeled by Philip Elton Collins. Greetings. Greetings, beloved human, upon the surface of the earth. Good resurrection season, dear ones. Good resurrection season. This will be a new version of the Easter story. What is, what is it all? It is the resurrection of Mother Earth's outbreath, the spring energy from her core passing through humanity. This is the real reason for what you call Easter. The increasing supporting energies you are receiving is further awakening your I am presence, your Christ consciousness energies within each of you, if you so choose. This is your divinity. There have been many messengers of the Easter energy incarnating within the Christ consciousness energy originating from the core of your planet throughout your history. For Christians, no, it came in the personage of the one you call Jesus, who upon his baptism received the full force of the Christ consciousness energy, which allowed him to become a master teacher of this energy which you are all mastering now, dear ones. This teaching is reflecting the mission of your Mother Earth to be love, the building block of all creation, love. Easter, dear ones, is a promise, a reminder that this energy is within each of you to be awakened. It is your divine destiny to become this soul Christ consciousness and if you so choose, apply it. You are in the process of merging with this energy, becoming one with it, you and I and we. If you have any questions, please well, ask now. Well, good morning, St. Germain. Thank you for joining us today with that Easter message. I do welcome. I do have a question. Uh, could could you explain Good Friday, which of course precedes Easter? What is the meaning of Good Friday? It is the coming of this energy through the passing of that divine soul, the one you call Jesus, leaving the density of this frequency and moving into the higher realms. That is the goodness within it, dear one. I've been rereading conversations with uh, the, the Mary energies that uh, I had, and what, one of the things they said that I'd like you to comment on was that um, it represented uh, with, with Jesus' uh, death the, 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 the sacrifice of the small e ego limits itself for the larger whole. That had meaning for me. Yes, once you pass, First of all, there is no such thing as death. Right. So as he transitioned into his eternal spiritual formatting, of course, the passing of the ego, ego, which would be within the 3D density, would take place. But understand with the one you call Jesus, he took a series of initiations in various locations, including Egypt, and Tibet, and in that process, through the Buddhist teachings, largely released the energy of his ego even before he passed into the higher realms. Mm -hmm. And Easter itself, um, it's beautiful what, what you said. I was also thinking that um, when all of, of Christ's experience uh, occurred, it was a very dark time, and he had said, um, have I not said that ye are all gods? And wasn't he really showing that the spirit doesn't die, that we don't really die? Yes. The true message is that you are the Christ consciousness, that you can do all the things with the application of the Christ consciousness. Yes. <clears throat> um, I've also, you know, we, we, we've been so aware, we, we've been through a, a, a difficult uh, four years where we had a, a president who we, many of us felt was a threat to our democracy, and we have 
uh, a new administration now that seems to be appealing to the best of us as opposed to a president before who appealed to the worst of us that kept us separated. As I've been thinking of, of this Easter and the opening to uh, the love that uh, Easter represents, that somehow it might be also a reflection of our new administration. Would you have any observations about that? Yes, he is a messenger of that love. He is a sacred father energy. He is the Adama energy, if you will, gathering his arms around all of the nation and the world and letting them know that he cares for them, that he has a compassion for them, and he will do the very best he can in his chronology to assist them, to support them, He has been waiting many decades to be able to be this. And through the losses and the gains of this incarnational cycle and the release of some karmic debt, he has become the full embodiment and expression of his soul plan, his purpose to love and support people in being here. Yes. Over the past several years, we have focused on the high vibration energies coming in to support Um, mankind's ascension and I was wondering if there are any particularly powerful energies coming in during this time of Easter remember the out breath of spring in this particular hemisphere is a result of an increased force of energy but you're also receiving energies from above as well from your galaxy and from your solar system and from other planets within your solar system that are taking place at this time. Remember, the spring is the out-breath, the fall and winter, the in-breath, which builds the planet to its strongest core base during the winter. And then as the spring awakens and it moves up to the surface of the Earth, in the winter climbs, It awakens the plants, it awakens the minerals, and in effect, it awakens humanity in many ways who are acting like plants themselves by the realization and the returning of the light. Right, so so that spring affects a lot more than just plants. It affects all, all the living beings on earth from the sounds of it. The seen and the unseen, dear one. Now, how, how does the, of course, the, the world is dealing with this worldwide pandemic, the first one in maybe a hundred years. Uh, how does that fit into all this? It is a clearing and a cleansing of the wounds of humanity. It is allow you, if you so choose to know, to create a unified field of consciousness to love and support one another during a common struggle during a common event affecting everyone. When something affects the entire planet, it is an opportunity for the community of the planet to come together and support one another and to begin to alleviate and eliminate the boundaries that separate you through things called nations, politics, governments, and religions. So when you use the phrase clearing and cleansing, it's clearing and cleansing so many of the influences that keep us separated. Exactly. It is a unifying field energy to eliminate the separation which often causes the confrontation. That seems to feed in so well to this uh, Easter season where we're coming together as one. Exactly. It all is about oneness. It all is about awakening eventually through this lifetime or one more lifetime or several lifetime incarnations to really realize that there is a oneness aspect to everything seen and unseen and begin to apply that not only to yourself and others but to every living force upon and within the planet. Yes. Well, that is a beautiful Easter message, St. Germain. Um, Would you have anything additional to say before we end this? Be this the best you can. Thank you, St. Germain. You're welcome.